Good evening, everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to become an international air hostess, or you call it as a steward. Myself, Mandika Lamba, I'm a co-founder of Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. You can find us on www.aircruiseaviation.com. My details are there on your screen right there. You can follow us on us on the social media: Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Insta. Now let's talk about meaning of an air hostess or a steward or who can pursue this career if you have a pleasing personality confident and an easy go person who gets along easily with all kinds of people you can consider this career the role can be physically and emotionally demanding and there is a high degree of responsibility involved cabin crew are expected to deal with all passengers diplomatically even when feeling the effects of traveling through time zones and spending extended periods of time on their feet let's talk about their skills well everyone talks about the basic skills required like good communication skills pleasing personality positive attitude friendly and patient well these we are talking about the basic key factors let's talk about the advanced skills which are required to become an international air hostess well it covers the ability to remain remain calm in an emergency or when dealing with difficult passengers good color vision and hearing good general health and fitness many airlines require cabin staff to be able to swim at least 25 meters you should have the knowledge of public safety and security the ability to accept criticism and work well under pressure sensitivity and understanding for dealing with customers needs and you should have that desire to help people and a friendly manner now let's talk about the eligibility criteria which is required to become an international air hostess you should have good communication skills good command over english language and a foreign language can be an added advantage your age your age should be 18 to 26 years of age 10 plus 2 or a graduate degree specialization in hospitality or travel and tourism can be an added advantage height for females it is 159 cm and for males it is 189 cm your weight should be proportionate to your height you should be eligible for an indian passport you should be unmarried your eyesight should be 20 30 vision or even better is required good health means you should be medically fit clear complexion no blemishes no tattoos piercing or even no wild hair styles see there will be an initial screening followed by a written test group discussion and personal interviews accepted candidates are put through necessary training in relevant procedures let's talk about the career scope due to the increase in new airlines in the aviation sector the aviation industry is expanding that's why the job opportunities of the cabin attendants are growing at a very fast rate There are good career prospects and excellent growth opportunities for youngsters not only in India but also in abroad. Flight stewards and cabin crew are mostly employed by the commercial airlines. They can also work in private air transport companies. They can seek job opportunities in public and private sector. Let's talk about the job profile and the responsibilities of an international air hostess. The job profile of the flight attendant is very exciting. they can visit all over the world and see various cultures while earning a reasonably good salary at the same time the basic responsibilities can be categorized as follow there are on ground responsibilities in flight and landing responsibilities on ground responsibilities to make sure that the first aid kits and other emergency equipments are on board and work properly or not toilets are clean and hygienic sufficient meals and beverages are available on the plane to make sure all the passengers have boarded the flight as per the passenger list to make sure all necessary and important documents are in place informing the pilot when the plane is ready to take off these are the on ground responsibility now let's talk about what would be the in flight responsibility flight steward welcomes the passengers while they are boarding the plane checking their tickets and serves refreshments and food on their journey they also educate all the passengers how to use the emergency equipments supervise them in the seating arrangements and check the safety belt arrangements flight steward work in teams to make the passengers comfortable in the flight and to check the security of the passengers in the tough situations making sure that the passengers have fastened their seat belts making important announcements on pilot's behalf assisting during medical emergency helping passengers in vacating the plane in case of emergency 
Let's talk about landing responsibilities, making the list of any lost or found articles on board, preparing a list of cash and stock left after the landing. Let's talk about the recruitment. As you're probably aware, the recruitment process is extremely competitive. So to give yourself the best chance, use the following checklist. Research the airlines you are interested to fly with, look up their destinations, read the career page on an airline website, Ensure your passport is up to date, at least with a minimum of 12 months of validity. Ensure that you have no visa restrictions into any country. Do you have the right of abroad in that country where the airline is based? Do you speak, read, write the required languages as stated by that airline? Would you be able to provide a clean criminal security background check? The above questions are a snapshot of international recruitment criteria. You will need a resume and maybe a cover letter that meets the cabin crew recruitment criteria for that airline. You will need to supply passport size and possible full length photos of yourself. Keep in mind that every airline has a different recruitment process. You must be prepared for any style of interview. Once you have submitted application form, you may then be invited to participate in any of the following interview. Uh, that could be your phone interview, video interview, assessment center, or a face-to-face -face panel interview. As you may be competing against thousands of applicants, it is always advisable to have as much as information you can gather about that particular airline you are applying for. Let's talk about the selection process. The selection process for the air hostess course comprises of three stages, written examination, group discussion, and an interview. The written examination comprises of question to test candidates' intelligence, reasoning, skills, numerical ability, and general awareness. Candidates who qualify the written examination are called for the duty round. Communication skills, teamwork qualities, and patience level are tested in this round. Interview round is conducted for the final selection of the candidates. It analyzes your personality and passion to work in the aviation industry. This is a general selection process. Some institutes might have variations in the selection process. All the recognized air hostess training institutes operate as per the guideline of the DGCA, which is Directorate General of Civil Aviation. And as for the DGCA guidelines, candidate will become eligible for admission only after qualifying a written test and an interview session. Candidates who get through the selection process are required to undergo a training of minimum of six months. The training duration may vary depending upon the airline before beginning the career as an air hostess. Well, now there would be a lot of question and answers would you be running in your mind. So we have summed up some question and answers for you for your better understanding. What is the eligibility for the air hostess course? A person can pursue this course after completing 12th standard. Some institutes also give admission after 10th class. However, we recommend completing your education till 10th plus 2 level. What courses are available for air hostess training? There are degree, diploma, and certificate level courses for air hostess training after 12th standard. What is the initial salary of an air hostess? Initially, an air hostess gets a salary of 25,000 to 40,000, which will experience and performance increases to 80,000 to 1,25,000. What are the areas of employment of air hostess? Some of the big airlines which hire air hostesses are Air India, Go Air, Alliance Air, Jerry British Airways, Gulf Airways, United Air, Delta Airlines, Singapore Airlines, etc. Where an air hostess gets more salary in domestic or international? An air hostess gets more salary in international airlines as compared to a domestic airline. What are the standard flying hours in a month? As for the regulations, an air hostess flight steward cannot fly for more than 125 hours in 30 consecutive days. Air hostess is a popular career option among young girls. Please check the FAQ section here for answers to the questions related to the course. So if you have any questions regarding this video, any suggestions, you can please get in touch with us. Please do not hesitate to get in touch with us. Thank you so much.